Hi everyone. If you remember, and I, yesterday is a scenario, we performed one, two, and uh, we added some numbers and we retrieved the results of the two numbers, right? Uh, so in the today's class, I would like to select a value from this uh, drop down to perform certain operations. Like uh, by default, it is uh, performing an addition operation, right? Uh, let's try to perform some multiplication operation or um, subtraction, division, or whatever it might be. Let's try to perform certain operations. So here again, I'm creating a new script. Okay, so I'm creating a new script and I'm naming this a scenario as a scenario four. I'm not using anything else. I'm not writing anything from my previous script. I'm copying the code till opening the app and this whole code I'm copying from my previous script. So here, if you observe this code earlier, we created this test script to add the two numbers where in which these two will enter a number. This two will this one will click on a search button. The additional operation what I need to do in the current scenario is I need to change the value from the drop down. Okay, I need to change the value from a drop down. So here, let me try to identify the drop down properties. Even the drop down is having a model ng model. So go back here driver dot find element by ng. Okay, sorry, ng by dot model. And here I would like to perform send keys. What I would like to pass as an input in order to addition, it's gonna be plus for division, it's gonna be a slash. So here I'm passing this input as a slash and I'm giving it as four comma four, four and a four. The first text field I need to enter as a four. That's what I'm giving. And here I'm changing this parameter as a division. And here I'm changing as a four. When I click on a go button, the result it is retrieving as a one. Okay, the result it is retrieving as a one. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, we can perform this particular operation. So what I would like to do right now. So uh, let me try to run this script and see whether it is a performing a division operation or not. So we can consider this a scenario as a handling of a drop downs using this one. So it performed a division operation. Okay, and now what additionally I can do this script rather than passing a division. What else I can pass here? I can pass a star to perform a multiplication operation. I just passed it as a star now. Let's see whether the multiplication of these two numbers is performing or not. Using a send keys command here directly, we are performing a drop down selection operation. See here, it entered a 16. It resulted as a 16 and selected as an into here. Great. What else we have? We performed a plus a division star. Let's go with minus also. What's wrong in a minus two? So I'm changing this value to minus and let me run my test script as a Java application. In this scenario, it should execute the test script, which should return the subtraction of the two numbers. See the drop down value got changed to minus. And finally, we have the last operator in the drop down is a module. Let me run my test script as a Java application. Ultimately, guys, if you clearly observe, the only thing what we did is we used a simple send keys to command and we are changing the values from a drop down. Okay, we used a simple send keys a command and we are changing the values from a drop down. So this is the way how can we handle drop downs using a J protractor jar file. This is a basic scenario guys. In the next class, I would like to show you uh, a few more scenarios, which we will continue in the next topic. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you very much. So guys, we are going to add a bunch of scenarios. Uh, uh, using these uh, J protractor jar file. We will add a, a few more scenarios in the next videos. Thank you. Bye.